Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you my quick and easy messy bun hair tutorial. I um, got a lot of requests when I had put in my vlog a couple weeks ago about a messy bun. I was wearing one and I was like, I think I've perfected how to get a messy bun, especially if you have a lot of hair. So um, I asked if you guys wanted to see it and a lot of people said that they did because they struggle with their messy bun. So it's kind of a funny topic, um, but I know um, there are a lot of us that have long hair, thick hair, and you want to get that perfect, you know, Instagram worthy, messy bun look. So my first um, thing, I'm, gonna do, I'm just gonna kind of give you an idea of what to do to get your hair bun ready, if that makes sense. So the first thing is you wanna make sure that you don't have um, very clean hair. You want it to be at least second or third day hair because if it's really freshly washed and soft and whatever, it's not gonna hold and it's not gonna look good. It's gonna be too too soft, too smooth, and too slippery. So you wanna make sure you at least have second day hair, like the next day, to, in order to get it to work. Or you know, spray like a texturizing spray in it. And that leads me to the second thing, you wanna make sure your hair is curled, or at least has some sort of wave in it. My hair is curled, um, so it has definitely some you know, body and wave to it, so it's not, um, you know, stick straight, because that, that also is important for the ends as well. So you wanna make sure you have that. You definitely wanna make sure you have dry shampoo in your roots, um, just recommend the uh, IGK jet lag one. Um, it's good for all hair types, and good if you have blonde or brunette hair because it's invisible. So so wanna make sure you put that in, just so you can get a little bit of volume. Even if your hair isn't dirty per se, you just kinda of wanna make sure you get some volume in the roots. So. And then lastly, you're gonna want um, some sort of an elastic. Um, I guess you could use a scrunchie if you wanted to, but any type of elastic, I really like these Invisibobbles. I've really fallen in love with them because they just kind of go back to their original size and they work really well and they work for hair that is thick. So what I'm going to do, this is gonna be fun. Um, I have a mirror here, so I'm gonna kind of look in the mirror and show you guys. Um, it's gonna be quick, like when I whip it up, you're gonna it, you're gonna find that it's really quick, but it, you kinda just wanna put it up as you would and then play with it. So I'm just gonna show you guys. Um, I'm gonna just start by taking my hair like this, you know, just as, as you would as if you were gonna put it in a ponytail or a bun. So I have it like kind of on top of my head like this and, and it's all wild like this. So if I am not in the frame, I'm sorry, I have Okay, so you're gonna hold it, and, and again, it doesn't need to be perfect or messy, but you just have to make sure you get all your hair. So then you're gonna take your elastic, and you're gonna wrap it around, and kind of wrap it around while you're holding your bun. And then, I like to go around like three times, okay. And then you're left with this wonky looking thing with all these pieces everywhere. So, you've got your big bun, and you got these wonky pieces. So what I do is I take these pieces, and I twist them around the back, can see and I tuck them into the little like whatever's hanging out I tuck them into the little bobble band so then if I still have something wonky here this like wonky piece here I take that and I tuck that into the bobble and then you have kind of your big messy bun here and it looks you know, it's it's still kind of tight, but it's still loose, if that makes sense. So it's not, um, okay, so this gives you kind of a better angle um, for the bun. So it is up here, and again, whatever little pieces were hanging out, I just tuck them into the back of the little bobble um, band. And, and here you might have like a little bit that, you know, sticks up. That to me doesn't really bother me. That kind of gives it like the messy vibe. But if your bun looks a little wobbly or lopsided, you just want to tuck tuck and play. You know, you just want to play with it and kind of get whatever you need to to make it look messy, but yet still, you know, nice. And you can hit it with hairspray, you know, like around here if you want. My hair is pretty smooth, so I don't really have to worry about that. But like I might hit it in the back here just um, if there's anything that's like sticking out. But it is just very simple, very easy. You just wanna make sure, again, you wanna make sure you have your curl because that's what's gonna hold it. You know, that's what's gonna give you the height because it's gonna already be kind of tousled and messy. So that is that. This is my messy bun look. And I hope this was helpful. <laughs> if it wasn't, I'm really sorry, but I hope that this helped you to kind of um, perfect a messy bun. 
if you can see I'm looking in the mirror and it looks it looks pretty good for you know sometimes you have to you know futz with it but then like this is kind of hanging out here a little bit so if you wanted to you know take this little piece here and just kind of tuck it here it'll give it a little different look so anyway that is my messy bun i hope you enjoyed this and i hope it was helpful if it was please let me know down below and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys very soon